Okay, so today we're going to be talking about van life, RV life, gadgets, gifts, gizmos, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to talk about, about 10 different things that I've found that I think are good additions to my van life travels. And hopefully it's something um, that you haven't seen or you think is kind of interesting. So sit back and check it out. All right, without further ado, let's get started. Item one. This is made by Tovia, and what it is designed for is watering plants. However, I love this for washing my hands. I do use this outside. It's USB rechargeable. It comes with a cable for it. It's got a power indicator at the top for how charged it is, and it runs usually 20 to $25 on Amazon. Link below. So what I love about this is I can just hit the button and a very, very small stream of water comes out. It leaves my hands free so I can do a lot of scrubbing without having to pump anything. The battery usage is so small, the battery lasts for a long time, and I just don't use much water at all. And item number two is the Wakako Espresso Maker. So this is actually the mini Presso. This is probably, I think this was their first version that they came out with. I've had it since about 2017. I would recommend getting the Pico Presso, which is the newest model that they have. It runs about $129, which is kind of expensive, but if you like espresso like I do, it's actually worth it. What this is is a hand press, so you're able to put the water and your espresso in this and use this as a pump and you actually get a really good extraction and crema on it. So um, the main thing, the main reason I would upgrade to the newest version would be that the cleanup is much easier on that one. The one thing that holds me back from using this one as much as I would like is that the cleanup is not the easiest. The new one, um, the puck, uh, the coffee puck pops out almost like an aer AeroPress. So the cleanup is much easier than this one. But it is a good little espresso maker and it's been pretty reliable over the last five years. All right, number three. We have the Fossils Folding Snap Diningware. So I have it in the cup, the plate, and the bowl. And then I even have an extra large bowl. These snap together and they just work so well in that they fold flat. So if you're traveling in a van or RV or even backpacking, um, they fold flat so they take up a tiny amount of space. It's easy to have extra dishes on hand, whether this is your only dish or this is extra dish in case you have company. These work really well. Um, I use them also as a cutting board because the material, it's fine to cut on them. Um, this bigger one, I actually will use um, sometimes, you know, nomads like to have little get togethers and potlucks. And so I will use this if I'm making a salad or something. And just like those, this one folds flat as well. So it's really easy to store them. After you fold them, a few times, then they get the memory and they stay in place. Now the set of three, which is the cup, the dish, and the bowl, um, usually is about $15, so pretty inexpensive. This bowl, I wanna say, is about $10 for it. Holds flat, tucks away. Love these. Okay, item number four. I debated if I wanted to put this one on the list, but it does make the cut. This is actually a water bottle, but as you can see, if it's super flat, rectangular, it's called a memo bottle. I'll put a link down below um, to, it might not be this exact one, but one very similar. It does get uh, mixed reviews as far as durability goes, but for me, it sits in my fridge, so it doesn't have to be super durable. I'm not taking it out and about in my backpack or carrying it around that often with me. 
it's not the best at pouring because there's no air holes so it wants to chug but I'm usually pouring it into a cup not drinking out of this container itself what I like is uh, living in a van you usually have a cooler or even if you have an RV your fridge is very small and space is precious this is able to take up such a small amount of space that it can kind of slot in wherever and if you're using a compressor cooler fridge freezer it just fits really nicely down in there um, so this I pretty much always have in my fridge because I do like chilled water next up I love this one this is actually as silly as it is it's a wet wipe holder so as you can see this just holds it it does have a weighted um, piece that sits on top um, and so you're able to pull out a single wet wipe with one hand you're not stuck um, trying to hold it and pull things out I can just pop up the lid and grab one and go it also looks just a little bit nicer than having your pack of wet wipes sitting on your counter all the time so I like that it's um, got little rubberized feet so it also doesn't slide around wherever I put it it stays it just kind of keeps everything tidy um, I pull off the top of the wet white pack and just stick the whole entire pack in there. I don't take them, pull them out any further than that. That's all I do. It helps keep them super moist because I've left them in the package. Um, and then this actually has like a little rubber gasket around it. So I've never had a problem with them drying out, even if they're sitting in there for weeks. So I do like uh, this and link for this is down below. up is the Sawyer Mini. So if you, like me, have kind of wanted a Berkey but aren't really ready to take the plunge and spend $300 on it, this is kind of a nice alternative interim solution. So this is a Sawyer Mini. It's a water filter. It usually tends to run about $20 to $25 for this. You just get this piece, a small hydration bag, um, a back flush syringe, and a straw with it. But I, what I do is I strip those other parts out. I take this and I hook it up to just a plain hydration pack. You can use a camelback, you can use a knockoff, anything that has a hose. And I can fill this with water and all I have to do is have this below my pouch and it's a gravity filter, feed filter. So I can hang this in my van if I want once it's filled up with water and the water that comes out of the end here is going to be filtered water. Another one is the Grail. So this is a little bit more expensive. Um, this is an old version. I've had this version for quite a few years. The newer version I would recommend getting. I'll put a link down below. Um, it runs about 80 to $90 for the newer one, I believe. Um, but it has a better cap that's easier to drink from. And this is a water purifier. This one was a filter, this is a purifier. So this one, what you do is you fill it up with water to the fill line, and then all you do is plunge. You just push this down, and it pushes the water through that bottom purifier into this section. And but when it's pushed through there, it's purified. So then you have purified water. And this is great, especially like if you like a lot of nomads do trips into Mexico and things like that, then you can just fill this up with tap water, push it through, and you can be sure that the tap water that you're drinking is fine for consumption. One thing to mention, if you're going with this one or this one, these don't like to be frozen. So you want to make sure to keep these wherever they are in your van or RV that they kept are kept above freezing. So next up, this is definitely probably not something you knew you wanted, but this is a water leak sensor. It's made by Govi. Govi. It just takes two AAA batteries in each one. You can use one or you can use both. They're sold in two packs. They only usually cost around $20 for the two of them. And it has sensors on the bottom that detect water. 
So I tend to put one in different parts on my floor of my van where my water jug is. Um, that way, if there happens to be any kind of leaks, these sound an alarm that let you know that you, you have water somewhere. I somehow seem to spill water more than you would think is possible in my van. So these have come in quite, a, quite handy. Um, I've been places where I've been driving and all of a sudden I hear it go off and it means I didn't secure something I should have in the back and so I can stop before it becomes an out of control mess. Okay, so whether you're chopping tomatoes, vegetable, any kind of vegetables, breads, or dock lines, this can come in handy. This is only $10. It's a Victorinox 4-inch serrated paring knife. This thing works so well. It's totally worth every single penny. And it can be multiple uses. It can be used for even, we use these in Alaska to cut through dock lines. So if you ever got jammed up and you needed to slice the lines on somebody's boat, this would slice through it. Um, it also works really well for things like tomatoes where the serrated edge does a really clean cut. It's much sharper than you'd think and can wreak havoc on your fingertips. So be careful. Okay, so we're down to the last two items, and these two are my favorites. So this is the Omnia oven. It's a stovetop oven. It's kind of like a glorified bunt pan that doubles as an oven. Um, the base unit sells for $60 to $70. I've added my own thermometer to it, but I see now they actually make their own thermometer for it. I drilled a hole and kind of did my own setup. Um, you can also add on different components to it. I do not recommend these. What I recommend is that you just go to Joann's, use your half off coupon, and buy the individual little silicone cupcake holders because you can fit more of them in than this. So maybe skip that as an addition. Come, you can also buy a bread rack for it. And what I do like is you can buy the silicone um, form that fits in the whole thing. So that one is definitely worth it to purchase. Um, and I've had a phenomenal luck baking in this, whether it's cookies or breads or muffins or scones or even um, casseroles, it works really well. Um, you just have to figure out what temperature you're hunting for on the thermometer and change your time accordingly. But I keep a log book so that I can remember what I cooked, what temperature, and how long so that I can replicate the results when they come out well. So I love this thing. And one of my absolute favorite things, I like bubbly water. And this is basically like a soda stream, but it's like a travel version. It's called the Drink Mate Spritzer. And what comes in the set would be this top, this which screws on to a bo their bottle. You do have to get their bottle because it's threaded a certain way to fit all the components. It comes with a smaller bottle and it comes with a smaller canister. So what I did though was swap out the canister for a full size SodaStream 60 liter canister so I can use it many times before it's empty and I also bought their larger bottle because it came with a smaller size. So now I'm able to have bubbly water whenever I want. I have to sit on a countertop. I can just tuck it in a cabinet. I can swap out the refills in different towns that I go anywhere that Soda Streams sold. So I can't recommend it enough. Unfortunately, they don't make the spritzer anymore. I did contact them and they said that they are not making it. Um, so I'm gonna put the link to the full size one that they have that's still smaller than a soda stream. Um, the other benefit, I've had this one three and a half years and have had really good luck with it. The other benefit to going with this brand over soda stream is you can carbonate anything. So soda stream, you can only carbonate water. With this, you can actually put in iced tea, juices, 
lemonade, whatever you want, um, you can put in this bottle and carbonate it. I think it's because this cap has a special valve on it which releases the pressure. So if you were to do that to a soda stream, as soon as you try and undo it um, from the top piece, it goes everywhere. I've tried it. <laughs> and so this one, because it has the pressure release valve that slowly lets the pressure out, you're able to carbonate whatever beverage you want. I'll try and show you the quick version here. I love this thing. So this just um, slides right on, hook it on, and that is all you do. And it's pressurized. Pull it off, hit that valve up. So now that it's just about done depressurizing, I don't hear the squeal anymore. Just pop that cap off. You have bubbly water. And then you're able to put the normal cap right on and put it back in your fridge. Love this thing. So I hope that you saw something out there that seemed interesting or that you hadn't seen before. Um, and if you're buying a gift for someone else, hopefully you saw something that could come in handy. If not, go with a gas card.